Hey guys, this is Jeff Allen. Welcome to my blog, jeffsaidso.com. Today we're going to be demonstrating the upgrade of a Nexus 9508 to go from one NXOS version to the next. Pretty simple procedure, very similar to a lot of other Nexus switches you may have worked with, but we're going to just go through the procedure here on this 9508 so that you can see if there's any differences in your own lab. So the first thing we need to do is get the actual binary down onto the switch. So we need to download it from cisco.com, which I've already done. I put it onto an SCP server. You have lots of choices of what you could use to, to do that. And I'll demonstrate here what your sources could be. Um, you could put it on FTP, HTTP. Um, you could put it on SCP, SFTP, TFTP, uh, even USB if you wanted to. So um, we're gonna. I have it on a, an SCP server right now, so I'm going to go ahead and do this and then I would recommend that you copy the actual file name into the clipboard of your operating system and that's what I've done here. Uh, wants to know where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it in boot flash. I'm going to use the exact same name um, using the management verf and my IP address or host name. Okay, um, so I can see here the ETA is about 15 more seconds for it to copy down this file. One thing you may not see in the Cisco documentation is actually copying down the EPLD file, um, which is a G image file. And I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. It, it, it talks about in the actual release notes to, to do the EPLD upgrade, but it doesn't mention that you go ahead and you need to copy this file down ahead of time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. Okay, much smaller file, so that's complete. So before we actually jump into doing the firmware upgrade, it might be handy for you to see which versions we're currently running. So if I do a show boot, there's a couple ways you can do this. So this shows what the boot variables are set to for each supervisor module. I can do a show ver as well. Um, it gives me a little more uh, specific information about versions that are installed. And I can also do a dir boot flash. And although we're not going to talk about the command here, you can also do a show module, which will give you all of the modules and their current running firmware versions. Might be good to just have that, um, you know, saved to a file for you to compare after you've done the upgrade. So, um, so we've got the binary files copied down. We know what version we're running, and uh, we're going to refer to these as I1 and I2. Um, so I1 is the version that we're currently running, and I2 is the version that we're currently going to. And just so you know, in Cisco lingo, that's Ashfield 1 and Ashfield 2. So we're going to go ahead now and um, start the procedure. So here I'm going to change the boot variable to Ashfield 2. Wants to know where it is. It's in boot flash. It's asking me the difference between the two, the EPLD versus the um, actual NXOS image. And as we discussed, it's I2. It checks to make sure that that image is valid before it sets the boot variables to use it. Okay, so that's done. Um, I'm going to do a copy run start right now. I'm going to save the current configuration. And I'm going to erase the switch. It will hold the boot variables even though I've erased the switch and I'm going to go ahead and reload now. So I want to bring the system up actually running Ashfield 2 to do the firmware to do the BIOS upgrades because the BIOS upgrades can be rather lengthy um, for you to uh, perform if you haven't already booted off of Ashfield 2. So we're going to let that process take place.
Okay, so um, it, system because we ran a race on it, it wanted to come up and kind of do an auto provision, and we're not going to continue with the auto provisioning. So as the NXOS upgrade itself goes, that's complete right now. It's done. It's actually running Ashfield 2. Um, I can show you the same commands that we used earlier. And you can see we're booting off of the i2 image now. Show version also shows the i2. And Dirt Boot Flash will show us both of the files exist in the file system now, but we are only using the i2 image at this point. First, we're going to upgrade BIOS, so we'll, we'll get to the EPLD in just a second. So. Okay, so it's installing BIOS right now. So you may notice in this list some of these items have already been upgraded. Uh, this is not the first time this switch has gone through this procedure, so some of the BIOS is already at uh, Ashfield 2, but we're going to run through the procedure so you can see exactly how it would work. Okay, so that would take care of the BIOS, and then EPL last piece and that is using um, the GIMG file, the G image that we have already downloaded. Okay. We add module all to the end of the command. Letting us know that the chassis will reload. We'll say OK. Go ahead and upgrade the active supervisor.
Okay, so switches back up. And the last thing we need to do is um, the golden EPLD. I'm going to give it the switch a couple minutes here. You can see it's still detecting the presence of those modules. And I'm going to give it a couple seconds because this process would actually fail if the modules hadn't uh, fully initialized. So I have not hit enter yet. I'm going to wait just a couple more seconds. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start it off now. Oh, you can see some of the modules are not online yet, so we are not going to continue. We can actually see that. If we do show mod, we can see that those modules are still coming online. So then we don't have to guess at how long it will take. Okay, looks like we're ready to go. Okay, so it pretty much runs through the exact same process that it did before. When this is complete, then that's everything. The entire process is complete. Okay, and the switch is back up. And the EPLD, BIOS, and NXOS are all complete at this point. So that whole process, if you were keeping track of the entire time, would have been about uh, just under 40 minutes. So um, pretty easy to do. Thanks a lot for watching the video, and feel free to... Uh, post any comments on my blog. Again, it's jeffsaidso.com in case you found this through YouTube. Thanks a lot.